Today, we're taking a look at the WE-TEC SIG F228. This replica of the popular P228 pistol is, as we have come to expect with all WE pistols, solidly constructed with ABS grips while the frame, slide and barrel are metal. The P228 is ergonomically laid out for a right-handed shooter. With the takedown lever, magazine release, decocker and slide release all situated on the left-hand side of the frame. The P228 does not feature any licensed trades. Instead, the left hand grip says F228, while the right hand side says SEAL Team 6 and has the 9mm caliber markings on the chamber. The P228 has no working safety. It does, however, feature a hammer decocking lever, which, when pushed, decocks the hammer and resets the trigger. Because the pistol is double action, if a round is chambered, pulling the trigger even after decocking will still fire the pistol. As with every WE pistol I've had my hands on, the hop-up is accessed by removing the slide. To do this, you must first pull back the slide so the takedown lever is aligned with a small semicircle groove on the left-hand side. The takedown lever can then be rotated downwards, enabling the slide to be removed. The hop-up wheel is located, as expected, by the chamber. Reassembly of the pistol is quite straightforward. Simply refit the slide and again, line up the takedown lever with the groove and reset it to its original position. The sights on the P228 are very basic, with only the front sight post being marked with a contrasting white dot. The metal constructed 28 round magazine has plastic feed lips, and the fill valve is located in the base plate. For the chrono test, as always, we used 0.2 gram BBs with Coleman propane. The ambient temperature in the studio was 5 degrees C. But as you can see, however, we got an average of around 250 feet per second. For the accuracy test, we fired 5 rounds from a workbench at a target 40 feet away, again with Coleman propane and 0.2 gram BBs. The rounds all placed within the same section of the target with a reasonably tight grouping. It should be noted that we put 5 rounds into the target prior to this test under the same conditions, and even though the sights were over the alpha target, the rounds were placing well outside of the target area. After adjusting the hop up, they all placed much closer to where we were aiming. This could be due to being the first magazine through the pistol and the hop had not yet been bedded in. Aside from the initial accuracy issues, the P228 is a very solid pistol, ideal for a smaller handed shooter, which will definitely hit a man sized target at 40 feet away. I've been Magaz, and this has been another CBMPC TV review. If you found this useful, please like the video and leave a comment. To keep up to date with CBMPC TV, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and remember, the air may be soft but our balls are hard.